All right, so look, man. Now, gang, gang, and evil twins. Listen up, dude. And I guess dude X too, right? Because there is some female gang, gang, and evil twins out there. Y'all got some explaining to do, man. You know, growing up, right? I never was a gang, gang, and evil twin. Never had interest in it. But just like everybody else who probably grew up in the quote unquote hood, you know, I dabbled and dabbed in things. Having my fair share of trouble, doing things I probably shouldn't have been doing. And that was happening. Because, well, I had a lot of gang, gang, and evil twin friends, fool. I never was a gang, gang, and evil twin. But being that I lived in the hood growing up, a lot of my friends were. But yeah, y'all always have this stigma about y'all. No snitching. No snitching. I'm not a rat. Well, I think y'all get more mad if somebody call y'all a rat than if somebody call y'all a homosexual, boy. Mm -mm -mm. If it's one thing them gang gang and evil twins don't play about, it's about being called a snitch. See what happened to Nipsey Hussle, man. Rest in peace to Nipsey. Well, that snitch were to set it off. Man, I even seen Carmelo Anthony talking about stop snitching. Dude, what you doing in a DVD called Stop Snitching? You don't go get on the basketball court. But you see, the older I get, the more I start to realize, man, these dudes be telling more than the civilians. They snitching on each other before we even get a chance to tell. Dang, dude. How you gonna take the civilians, y'all? Let me snitch. You don't supposed to be snitching. Dang, we can't never have nothing. <laughs> gang, gang, evil twins always want to ruin something, dude. Messed up the internet. Y'all up here gang banging. Crashing out, having beef rivalry. Dude, we up here to have fun, man. Go away. Go back to the street. Civilians can't never have nothing for themselves, dude. Kids can't go to the parks. Y'all shooting it up. Y'all just take everything from us. Man, we can't even snitch anymore. Y'all telling on everybody before we get a chance to <laughs> Man, put that cheeseburger down and stop snitching. Over there in the interrogation room having a feast. This dude, Yak Gotti, footage of him in the interrogation room eating a full five-course meal. This dude was having a moot bank. This dude is the Keith Lee of Gang Gang and Evil Twin. He was just sitting there in the interrogation room enjoying a full five-course meal, dude. Answering every question they asked. I never seen nothing like this a day of my life. I've seen a sandwich. I've seen a burger. This dude getting fed like a king. This dude getting fed like the man of the house. You know how your mama put the big piece of chicken? <laughs> you know how your mama used to put the big piece of chicken on your dad's plate? Or her boyfriend or whoever? They gave this dude a big piece of chicken. They end up feeding him like he royalty, fam. At your service, sir, Yak Gotti. As you wish. They treating this dude like he the prince of Egypt. But if y'all haven't heard yet, footage of him in the interrogation room just recently leaked. I think WAC 100 leaked it. This dude WAC 100, the snitch patrol. If you tell on the man, if you tell on the friend, here comes the waxster. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. Well, this dude, the Donald Trump of the rap game, he deporting all the snitch. This dude over here telling on the teller. That's impressive. But yeah, this dude cook. It don't matter if this is from 10 years ago. And that's a risk you take when you sign up to be a gang gang evil twin. See, if you was a civilian, this wouldn't even matter. But hey, you wanted to be big and bad, dude. I remember you out there uh, taunting YFN Lucci. Where was y'all at? Uh, I think Lennox Mall, right there in Atlanta. While he was inside of the mall shopping, you're outside in the parking lot, standing on top of his car, taking pictures in front of his car and stuff. Dude, you even used one of those pictures as your next album cover. You was doing all of that. But you mean at the same time, you the Keith Lee of the prison system? End up doing full review in the interrogation room? Before I let you guys go, I do want to speak on uh, one more topic 
real brief. This dude straight drop, aka Young Dolph Killer dude. Just recently got cooked, right? Boy, this dude ain't never coming home. Boy, I be mad as hell. And that big jerk dude, he finessed him because he didn't even give these people all their money. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, that's what happened when you want to live that life, dude. But his brother, he actually just received six years of probation for helping straight drop after the murder of Young Dog. Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to three counts of accessory and was sentenced to six years of probation. Jamarcus pleaded guilty after Justin gave him a phone and a car that is known to be connected to Young Dolph's murder. He also was ordered to enroll in job training program, parenting classes, community service, and supervision of the court. Now, I didn't follow the Young Dolph case too heavy, or should I say the Young Dolph trial, but it appears uh, Justin Johnson's brother gave him the phone and also the car that was used in the murder of Young Dolph. Six years probation seems pretty lenient for that type of crime. But see, I didn't know he testified against his own brother in the trial. So yeah, he took the stand against his brother. So I'm sure that's, that's why uh, he caught this W with only six years of probation. But anywho, just wanted to update you guys with that while I had you here. Rest in peace to Young Dolph. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZF baby, 252. These guys be throwing their lives away for absolutely nothing. It's crazy. And honestly, I don't even think it's for the money anymore. It's more so about the clout. And that's even sadder. This dude thought he was about to have a music career. Dude, you crashed out. Game over. If this was an Xbox 360, you would have that little ring of death right now. And for what? It's never worth it. It's your life, bro. Your life should be priced. Now, if you is going to crash out, at least make it like 250 and up, right? Like, you want at least 250K bare minimum, man. You crashing out over average 9 to 5 workers, like yearly salary. But to each his own, I'm gone. I live it. Hey. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the streets. Fuck this in the street.